الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم وأتوب إليه على صورة شاكرة الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم وأتوب إليه أستغفر الله ربي من كل ذنب وأتوب إليه لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم أستغفر الله إن الله غفور رحيم أستغفر الله ربي من كل ذنب وأتوب إليه لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ولا قبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ومولانا محمد النبي الأمين المكين الكريم الحليم الرؤوف الرحيم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى عز وجل في القرآن الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم الصلاة والسلام عليك سيدي يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك سيدي يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك سيدي يا رحمة للعالمين وعلى آلك وأصحابك سيدي يا شفيع المذنبين قال الله تعالى عز وجل في القرآن الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والذين آمنوا أشد حبا لله قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في الحديث الشريف من حب لله وأبغض لله وأعطى لله ومنع لله فقد استكمل الإيمان أو كما قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم My dear brothers, we have started a talk and before the last Juma, we are talking about the development of human character. Today, inshallah, according to the Hadith of Jibreel, we have recited, we have translated, we have explained Hadith of Jibreel in our last Juma. Today, in accordance with the light of Hadith of Jibreel, we will start, we, go, we are going to start a talk on Iman Billah and its requirement. What is the requirement of Iman Billah? As we have mentioned in our last Juma, what Iman is and what is Iman, Iman Billah? What is the meaning of Iman Billah? In brief, Iman Billah, it is an announcement verbal statement and it is a belief in your heart and a practical demonstration a practical demonstration as it is instructed by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to believe in Allah to believe in His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to give a verbal statement, announcement, declaration Iman Billah. Somebody becomes a Muslim. Somebody becomes a Mu'min. Somebody accepted Iman. Now what is the requirement of Iman Billah? Without which, without which Iman Billah is incomplete. If anybody does not fulfill those requirements and the demands of Iman Billah, then the Da'wa of Iman, this is just a da'wa, this is just a demand, this is just a verbal statement, this is just an announcement, this is just a verbal declaration. If those demands, those things are not fulfilled with, the first thing which Iman Billah 
demands the first thing is muhabbat ilahi hope the love for allah almighty love for allah almighty love is a spiritual connection with allah almighty if you believe in allah automatically you will feel an attachment a spiritual attachment spiritual connection with allah almighty you will love allah you will have an attachment no matter how far you are you will feel him you will feel him spiritual connection the verses i have recited from the holy quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said walladhina amanu ashaddu hubban lillah walladhina amanu ashaddu hubban lillah those who believe in allah they love allah the most far more intensely than anything else love wherever you are no matter which work you are doing what you are no matter you always remember allah now what is the sign of muhabba what is the there should be some signs which indicates that this man has a muhabba with allah almighty or this man has a muhabba with somebody there should be some signs which indicates which demonstrates which proves which establishes that this man has a spiritual connection with somebody or this man has a spiritual connection with allah almighty how can we understand there should be some sign there should be some sign what is the signs the sign of muhabba as i the, the verse that i have recited we are talking about muhabba of allah muhabba of allah as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the quran if you love allah you if you believe in allah you must love allah the most <laughs> then in another verse allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said this verse that i have recited right now it is from surah al-baqarah verse number 165 And in another verse, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says in Surah Al-Muzammil, Al-Muzammil, chapter 73, verse number eight. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala said, "Was kuris marabik wa tabatul ilahi tabdila." You see how the spiritual connection is. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala said, "Was kuris marabik." You keep remembering your law. You keep remembering persistently, continuously. You re- keep remembering your law. Wa tabatul ilahi tabdila. What about the ilahi tabtila? With full focus and concentration, broken away from anything, everything else of the world. When you remember Allah, you do it with full submission, broken away from everything of the world. This is the love. This is the demand of love. I if I believe in Allah, if we believe in Allah, this is the first demand of human being. And then in another hadith, Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "This hadith is narrated by Imam Abu Dawood." Man habba lillah, wa abd ghaza lillah, wa aatu lillah, wa mana lillah, fakad istakmal al iman. As I have said in, in the very beginning, that if these requirements are not fulfilled, then our iman billah is just a verbal statement. It is just an announcement. It is just a declaration. Iman is not complete. Iman is not complete. Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Man habba Allah, who loves for Allah's sake, when I have love, I have a spiritual connection with Allah Almighty. Definitely, I will have to love everything that Allah loves, and I will have to love just for Allah's sake. If Allah does not like, I will not go forward." If Allah likes, I will love. I will have a spiritual connection. Man ahabba lillah, who loves for Allah's sake. That's why I love the saint of Islam, the saints of Allah, the the the, the scholars of Allah. Not for himself, but for Allah Almighty. Man ahabba lillah, who loves Allah for who loves for Allah's sake. Wa abghada lillah and hates for Allah for, for Allah's sake. For the sake of Allah, for His pleasure, for His happiness, and wa aatu lillah and gives, donates, gives for Allah's sake. Wa mana lillah holds back for Allah's sake. Fakat istakmal al iman. His iman is complete. His iman is complete. This love, if somebody has love, this love has some signs which establishes that this man has a spiritual connection with somebody or with Allah Almighty. the first sign of love how can you understand how can we understand that he has a love the first sign of love said 
कसरत जिक्र महबूब abundantly abundant remembrance of your mahbub this is the first sign of mahabba this is the first sign of mahabba intentionally and intentionally either it is the subject or it is not the subject you always talk about your mahbub if you love something if you love your job if you love your children you see wherever you wherever you go if you this is your first baby you always talk about your baby he loves this way he smiles this way he cries this way he does this way he does this he does that because you have a spiritual connection with your children with you this is how we always describe we always always talk about that we love we are attached to it so the first sign of love first sign of mahabba is kasrat e zikr e mahboob why holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said man ahabba shay'an akthara zikrahu man ahabba shay'an if somebody loves something he always remembers aksara zikra he all he abundantly remember those things when you have love with something when you have attachment with something when you have a spiritual connection with something this is the first sign of love so if i have love with allah almighty first of all i believe in allah what is the demand of your iman billah the first demand of iman billah is love for allah when we have love for allah what is the first sign abundant remembrance of allah almighty that's what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said was kurisma rabbi keep continue keep continue remembering your lord broken away from anything everything of the world sign of mahabba sign of mahabba sign of iman billah then the second sign of mahabba the second sign of mahabba is as-sabr ala al-musibah as-sabr ala al-musibah to be patient in distress in trouble tribulation if anything afflicts you if you are in not a good position misfortune distress trouble always be patient that this is the second sign of mahabba that this man has a mahabba with allah almighty and as we have said that the mahabba is the first sign of the iman billah mahabba is the first demand of iman billah that's why look at the prophets look at the prophets look at hazrat ayyub alayhi salam let me give an example hazrat ayyub alayhi salam he has been he had been suffering from severe illness severe illness not for one year not for two years not for three years the mufassirin saying different thing 30 years 29 years 33 years 35 years and it was such a severe illness <coughs> such a severe illness sometime at, at night he used to shout because of pain but he never did any shikwa any complaint in the court of allah Allah. He never said, "Oh Allah, give me cure." No. Why? He said, "I am his slave. I am his slave. He has created me. He loved me. He loves me. And he knows what is my condition. He knows what is my station. He knows what is my status. I don't need to ask him for cure. I don't need to ask him for cure." After 35 years, when his heart getting weaker, because of the illness then he said maula then he slipped he said ya rabbal alami my risk was remembrance of you my risk was remembrance of you if i can't move my lips if my heart get weaker then i can't remember you hmm. then 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 ilham and wahi said to him that ayyub do dua for your cure ayyub alayhi salam did dua for his cure you know what he said Rabbi inni masani ad-dur wa anta arhamur rahimin. Oh Allah, a simple pain touched me. You are most compassionate and merciful. You see the dua? He should have done the dua in this way, oh Allah, in last 35 years as we used to do. Last 35 years I've been suffering from this severe and uh, 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 serious illness. Oh Allah, give me cure. I can't tolerate. I can't take more. You see, but the dua is here. Oh Allah, a simple pain touched me. Wa anta arhamur rahimin. You are the most compassionate. Forgive me. These are the sabiri. That's why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Istainu bi sabiri wa sala." Inna Allah ma sabiri. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala had not mentioned Inna Allah ma al-musalli. No, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ista'inu, ask for help from Allah Almighty. Be salah, by prayer and passion. But me, if you talk about me, I am always with the person who, patient. who are patient. Not in Allah ma'al, so Muslim, because there are different types of Muslims. These are the second sign of Muhabba. Second sign of Muhabba. The third sign of Muhabba. In al Mahbub. To cut off, to be broken away from everything of the world. And direction has to be towards Allah Almighty. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, was Kurisma Rabbuk. You remember Allah with full submission, full concentration, full focus, broken away anything, everything of the world. This is the third sign of Muhabba. If these three, four signs, if somebody has, then you can say that yes, I have Muhabba up with, I have Muhabba for somebody, I have love for Allah Almighty. Otherwise, Muhabba is just a demand. Muhabba is just a demand that we do not right? Nowadays, we love Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we love Allah, we love companions, we love awliya salihin. But this is just a demand. You can check, these are the parameters. These are the manhaj, these are the methodologies. These are the ways to justify whether our muhabba is just a demand or it has an, it is a meaningful, it is meaningful. If these parameters tell us, no, it is just a demand, then we have to rethink again. muhabbat ilahi is the first demand of the Iman Billah. The second demand of iman Billah is etaat ilahi To be obedient, to be obedient. Obedience of Allah Almighty, is, it is the second demand of Iman Billah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because these are the maqsad, these are the objective, these are the aim. This is the purpose of the hope of Allah. This is the purpose of Wahid. Because if I love Allah, I should know what He likes, what He dislikes, what He wants me to do, what He doesn't want me to do, where He want me, wants me to go, where He doesn't want me to go, what He wants me to bring, what, what He doesn't want me to bring. His liking, disliking, I should know because I love Him. This is the etaat ilahi, the second demand of Iman Billah. Without which Iman Billah, just a verbal statement. It is just a declaration and announcement. Iman is not complete. Iman is not complete. The second thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran. This is Suratul An'am, verse number 100. Uh, this is Suratul An'am, uh, Suratul, Surah Al Imran, verse number 31. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Qul, in kuntum Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Oh beloved Prophet, tell them, in kuntum Allah, if you think, if you love Allah, if you love Allah, then follow me, then follow me. Yuhbibkumullah. If you follow me, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala automatically he will take you for his love. He will choose you, he will select you for his love. And he will ta take you as his beloved. And he will forgive your sin. He will forgive your sin. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Surah Al An'am, verse number 155, Wahaza kitab, Wahaza kitab, Anzalnahu mubarak, Fattabi'u, Wattaku la'allakum turhamun. This book, Quran, Anzalnahu mubarak, we have revealed, full of blessings. Fattabi'u, follow it. Then follow it. La'allakum turhamun. La'allakum turhamun. So that you are shown mercy. You are shown kindness. You are shown blessings. So the attaba, that means obedience, is the second demand of iman billah. Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, how to be obedient to Allah Almighty. Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, man ata'a muhammadan faqad ata'a Allah. The one who is obedient to Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Obedience of Holy Prophet, this is the obedience of Allah. This is the obedience of Allah. If somebody becomes disobedient for the, to the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it will, be considered of, uh, it will be considered as disobedient to Allah Almighty. So the itaat ilahi is the second demand of iman billah. The third 
The third demand of Iman Billah is Tawakkul ala Allah. Tawakkul ala Allah. Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to you, whatever you have been given by Allah Almighty, should, we should put our trust in the hand of Almighty Allah. Surrender. Whatever we have been given, Alhamdulillah. Whatever we haven't been given, it's still Alhamdulillah. I mean, full surrender, put our trust in the hand of Almighty Allah. We should have full confidence in the taqsimat ilahi, in the taqsimat ilahi, in the distribution of Allah Almighty. This is tawakkul ala Allah. Whatever we have, whatever we have been given, we have full trust in the hand of Almighty Allah. This tawakkul, tawakkul ala Allah, this is the third demand of Iman Billah. So, we have talked about three demands of Iman Billah. If somebody has an Iman in Allah Almighty, then he should fulfill some demands of Iman Billah. Otherwise, without this requirements, Iman Billah just a demand, just a verbal statement, Iman is not complete. The first sign of Iman Billah, the first demand of Iman Billah is Muhammad Ilahi. Love for Allah Almighty, love for Allah Almighty. And your love for Allah Almighty has some signs which will establish that this man has a spiritual connection with Allah Almighty. The first sign of Muhabba is extensive, abundance remembrance of Allah. The second sign of Muhabba is, the second sign of Muhabba is, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad ala Sayyidina Muhammad ala Bari Sallim Obedience The second sign of Muhabba is to be patient in distress, in trouble The third sign of Muhabba is to remember Allah to remember Allah and to move towards the direction of Allah broken away anything, everything of the world It doesn't mean that we have to stop our, our work we have to stop everything, no Wherever we are Wherever we are, if somebody has a spiritual connection, wherever we are, spiritually that we are always connected with Allah Almighty. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Rijal, the Rijal of Allah, the slave of Allah are those who no matter where they are, no matter physically where they are, spiritually always they are connected with me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us, bless us with the true guidance given by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Jazakumullah khair al jaza Azanistan, please. Praise him. <coughs>